in innovations happen at two levels. First is at the systemic level, that we looked at the networking problem of the data center, and rather than trying to build better, a better set of switches to build it out of, we rethought the network as a whole. First of all, we want to create a fabric where everything is connected to everything else. But then we wanted a fabric that behaved in a cohesive fashion. So we basically built or redefined how you build a switch. And so the fabric itself is, in fact, one large logical switch. Now, to get there, we had innovations at three, the next levels down. You had to focus on the data plane, the control plane, and the management plane, solving all those problems in order to get the kind of fabric that we wanted to deliver to the data center. Now, <clears throat> each one of those problems is a unique set of challenges and required a different approach. So let's start with the data plane. The data plane, we wanted to be blazingly fast. We wanted to minimize the number of physical hops and devices. So we get down, we push all the intelligence to the edge of the fabric. So we process the packet once and only once. And then the middle is very simple. It's simply transport. So we can move the packet across the fabric with minimal amount of processing. And what you get is a data path that is blazingly fast. It's always under five microseconds to traverse the fabric. And in about a microsecond of that latency may be in the cables themselves. So we've seen as low as 3.71 microseconds to go across the fabric and under one microsecond if you're staying within the same rack and therefore doing local switching. So the data path is blazingly fast and a lot of that goes into the A6 to make it. And again, minimizing the number of those. The second one is the control plane. Big change here. What we want to do is to push the intelligence out to the edge. So the control plane itself is distributed. Every node in the fabric, every edge device has that intelligence. And then it's federated so that they all act in unison. This is how it behaves as a single switch. So the same concept of a control plane you'd see in a regular chassis switch, but now scaled and distributed and then federated to pull it back together. And because it behaves as a single entity, then we have a management plane that does the monitoring and management of all the elements in the fabric and allow administrators to manage it as a single logical device, because it is, in fact, a single device. And so what this does is it just fundamentally simplifies how you build a fabric in the data center. I don't have multiple devices to manage. I have one device to manage. This can reduce the number of administrators from many down to one. Now, you may not just have one in a data center, single point of failure. They may actually want to go on vacation, but it's possible to manage it with a single administrator. So what you get then is something that is blazingly fast. It scales to 6,000 ports. It is enormously simple because it has that proven operational model of the single switch. And just by design, it's going to cost less. There's less hardware, there's less administration, so both OPEX and CAPEX are reduced. That's the elegance of rethinking it from the ground up with a clean sheet of paper and not trying to build a network out of the existing building blocks of Ethernet switches.